I do porn for a living. Food porn. I mean, I guess that's pretty much what it is, no? It's black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods, yeah. What up, y'all? Back in the truck again today. Just was in the mall, grabbed myself a little new hat for the dome piece. And while I was in there, they had a place called Feta and Olives, and it has Greek food, so gyros, doner, um, Greek potatoes, things like that. So I, of course, went ahead and procured a mystery sack of goods, which we will get to in just a moment here. Uh, it is unseasonably warm here right now. We're having like a little November heat wave. So it's a beautiful sunny day. It's like 12 degrees outside which for this time of year here is unheard of. So we're gonna peel out, pop off, put down a window to get some A-flow in here and uh, dodge reckless drivers in parking lots. So we're gonna pull up to the marina. There's some picnic table things there. There's a national land treasure called the Sleeping Giant. We're gonna look at that, have a nice backdrop of the lake, Lake Superior get some sun sparkling off that enjoy a breeze enjoy the sun enjoy the nature sun gaze a little bit and just get some greek tzatziki sauce and other ingredients in our mouth and our belly and chill and have a good old time in this little november heat wave that we're having here so uh the next thing you'll see is me pulling in trying to find a spot by the lake and then we'll of course have our meal together with a pretty dope backdrop, I think. I, it should be pretty nice, if I'm uh, not mistaken here. Okay. Now this isn't where the picnic table's at, but I will get you down for a closer look as to what the vibe is around here. And it is pretty dope. We got ships, we got water, and we got a landmass that's iconic, chilling in the fog true vibes now i don't know if it's necessarily nice enough to be paddle boat pat right now but he's doing it he is not afraid he's going into the depths maybe to the break wall and back i don't know if that's his daily exercise but like i said bluebird got the break wall got the shifts right there is the sleepy g sleeping giant and this is lake superior a very massive lake you would not want to get lost in those are grain elevators and funny story for you is I painted some of those and almost died when I was working on them. Okay, let's go find a picnic table though. I suppose I could show you the, uh, the view of the city. We got condos, hotel condos, and then here's all the docking stations for the boats. Picnic table paradise. All right, yo, what up? Posted at the picnic table paradise. I got all the passer buyers behind me so I don't have to have some weird eye-to-eye uh, -eye engagement even though I got my hater blockers on, <laughs> but I don't think anybody would really truly care. So first up, we have this thing of Greek potatoes. I was thinking about the salad and then I thought, well, I don't know, maybe it'll be windy out, things like that. So I just opted for the potatoes and they do look fantastic. It's a little colder out than I had anticipated but we'll deal with it i have no idea which one's which but i have one that's chicken and one that is the doner beef uh, thin sliced doner meat so we're just gonna go ahead and uh, tear off these tops and reveal as we go but this one is the doner as you can see but that's it, that's what's up. A waterfront picnic in November. <laughs> Let's do her. Told the dude heavy tzatziki. Of course. Lettuce, tomato. Onion, cucumber. Feta, lettuce. I think I said lettuce already. <laughs> and then these, uh, the pink pickled turnips. That's what makes it hella legit. I appreciate this, like, this bonnet too. It makes these so much easier to eat.
Mm-hmm. Man. I've been craving this. I've been wanting some good Greek for a while. I did that shawarma video and it just kind of didn't hit the spot in terms of the wraps. I feel like this one is definitely hitting harder. That tzatziki is better. It's just really on point. Another $20, $25 meal though. I gotta chill out on these expenses on these meals. Just been breaking the bank <laughs> on these videos lately. I gotta say, when I looked at the prices, it was eight bucks per wrap or whatever. I was like, I wonder if this guy, like, I wonder how they'll come out. But he packed them very, very full to the point where, like, he could barely do up the wrapper. So I definitely appreciate that. But yeah, I'd say this is definitely like the coolest part of the city in terms of just like a nice place to go chill and vibe out, especially in the summertime. It would be sick if they had restaurants. Well, there is a restaurant right there. It's called Bite. But they should have it so it's like boardwalk style in the summertime. Like, I don't know why they don't. They should have like... They do have concerts down here, but they should have all kinds of like summer restaurants. Pop-up vendors. You know, different forms of entertainment and shit, but this city be slacking when it comes to that shit. They just don't understand how to put their money in the right place, I feel like. Mm -mm, rapper. There's an art center there, restaurant, hotel right here on my left. Looks really dope in the summer when all the boats are in. Kept my garbage bag <laughs> tucked under my leg. It's surprisingly not that windy out. Would anybody else agree that Nestle Life bottled water is the worst tasting bottled water ever? There's something just so strange about it. All right, let's try these creamy ass potatoes. Mmm. Mm-hmm. 
wow. Potatoes were the right choice. So much more simple to navigate than a Greek salad. Those black olives, aka Lego tires, flying everywhere. Very peppery. Seasoned amazing. There's also a skate park right back there, too. It's actually pretty dope. I can hear some trucks slapping around on the rails. I don't know if you can catch that or not on the mic, but I can. Mm. Wow. These potatoes are fire. the chicken that's loaded up with all the veg same thing on this one sun's dipping behind that building Intrigued to see how this lighting comes out now. Should be okay, I hope. Mm. Mm -hmm. Chicken's better. Isn't that usually the case though? I feel like it, especially when it comes to these. I feel like the chicken just belongs with these ingredients. Some dude's out for his exercise and a jog. <laughs> And meanwhile, he's got to pass me, who's sitting here <laughs> filming himself crushing food on camera. Hopefully I motivated him to go harder. and not to crave. Right as I was setting up here, I had an elderly gentleman stroll into me and he was all interested in my tripod. <laughs> oh, where'd you get that tripod there? Didn't ask me what I was up to, but should have put him on game about mukbang. <laughs> Just absolutely blow his war era mind. You what? You eat on camera and get paid? No. I 
I do porn for a living. Food porn. I mean, I guess that's pretty much what it is, no? I'm a D-list food porn star. <laughs> what a claim to fame. <laughs> when you really think about it, that's what it boils down to. Just some strange entertainer. I couldn't get down in the mess for the, to finish that last wrap. It just got too crazy down there. Mm. The potatoes were what's up, that's for sure. I think the potatoes are highlight of the show. In my mouth, the chicken was better than the doner meat. All in all, pretty good, but all in all, gotta stop spending 25 bucks on these meals, tell you that. <laughs> all right, that wraps that one. Hope you enjoyed it. Till the next one, you know what to do. Eat good, live well. Stay true.